welcome to life with Zara. today i'm just gonna be talking about my today i'm gonna talk about my mom x x like things that flipping irritate the shit out of me i'm gonna do it like a countdown of 10 i'm gonna say 10 things 10 x that i can't deal with with being a working mom like that that just icks the shizzles out of me okay, so the first thing is people just popping up at your house like that is just that's not cool that's not the way to go anymore like before i used to love that i cannot deal like i'm always doing something even if i'm just laying in bed and doing nothing most of the times i'm wearing a swimsuit at home <laughs> not that i have a real pool i swim in my kids pool but it's like decent enough but like you cannot just show up at someone's house like make an appointment book an appointment i know it sounds weird but literally even if you have to phone before you go to someone's house phone like that's the most decent thing to do ick number two when parents allow the kids to be free super free at someone else's house especially if they're not in the yard in the yard i don't mind kids can go on even if my kids are by other people's house but when you at someone's house and you're visiting and you that type of parent that like that allows your kids to be in your company because they're toddlers and they don't understand they cannot climb on people's couches they cannot litter in people's homes pick it up clean after your own kid Ick number two parents need to clean after their own kids especially if they're in someone else's house I really frustrated this morning and i decided to make this video Ick number three different strokes with different folks like the older generation like this is a major ick but it's an understanding ick but it's an ick when the older generation question you or question your parenting or question what you allow your kids to do and not to do woo! number four parents that allow their kids to have cell phones at such a young age like why yes it's a new generation but there's so much shit on social media it's not safe when my kid even just had a cell phone just to thank god his phone is gone somewhere in the house and i'm not interested in finding that shit they're like effing zombies on the phone it's not healthy and the fact that kids like parents just if allow the kids to do that if your kids is too much for you and stuff and like why did you have kids though why why like why do you why are you okay with your kid being a zombie like my son was playing games and he started getting monster phone calls like who i lost my effing mind like who's phoning my five-year-old son and he's picking up the phone and he's talking it's a monster there's so much shit on the show on the internet they are literally poisoning the new generation so be careful chill with your kids to see what they are watching so that you can know if it is child friendly number five call me flipping old school Ooh, i had to control myself from giving my kids a mercy club because they called their father of course the father on their first name I don't allow that shit. I don't care. <laughs> what? I don't know what you're saying. Okay. They are bad, but I'm gonna say ik number six. I'm literally doing this while driving to work. So ik number six is sweating. It's not cute. It's not cute, especially if you have a girl. I'm gonna say it. I don't care who gets offended. It's not cute for kids to swear. It's not cute. Yeah they're gonna learn things or whatsoever stop sweating have a sweating jar in the house or whatsoever it's not my kids they pick up swear words in Gujarati right so they will pick up pen shorts in the house we have to stop using it it's not cute it's not number seven stop thinking that moms that work and moms that are on social media do not get tired like we are not pretending social media is for ourselves for our own inspiration giving inspiration being inspired everything it's ours like don't judge moms especially working moms by social media we are allowed to be tired you always see me jolly or whatever on my social media yes that's a certain time that's like a few seconds or a few minutes of my day i have a whole day i have shit to do i have things to do shit happens like 
I'm not perfect. Like I'm allowed to be tired. Number nine. When you get a visitor, do not always think that they eat the same amount as you. Always check with your visitors if they are still hungry, if they would like to eat something and make sure they know that it's okay. Otherwise, basically don't even offer people food. I know I'm wrong for this because sometimes people just being nice, but there's sometimes I feel like people can do more, but they don't. And they're very inconsiderate. Like, ick number 10. When your friend is not in communication with you and your friend is always busy and doing things and going through life and don't have time to phone you, doesn't mean there's bad blood. They're just busy. It's called life. There is no reason for any animosity or to take things so personally. Your friend is just busy. So I hope that is actually 10 because I didn't keep up. And I hope you enjoyed this random video. I was actually just expressing myself. Because I was in such a fired up mood. And I decided to just express myself by making this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And welcome to episode 10, I think. Yeah. Of RIP to my Twitters. <laughs>